You gotta be using addition rule. It's the only way we combine like terms. What's 5x combined with negative 6x? Negative, negative 1x. Negative 1x. 5 minus 6 is negative 1, right? Yep. So we should have be we should be getting out of this. Negative x. That stands for negative 1x. You're still okay. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. This is where people make a mistake. They give me sometimes zero, sometimes they give me, uh, I've seen a lot of 11s or negative 11s. Uh, I've seen X's, just single X's like this. I see a lot of that, where people mistake the signs on that. We need to be knowing that that is negative X or negative 1X. And then we have the plus 9 equals 4X minus 8. Give a good head nod if you're okay getting down that far. Don't give it that. Good, all right. Now. Don't get stuck now. Don't get stuck now. We don't have any like terms, but we do have variables on either side of my equation. What do I do if I have variables on either side of my equation? Okay, and that includes a sign, right? So we look at the variables with the sign. What's my smaller variable here? How do I get rid of negative x? How many x's are we talking about? Negative how many? So we're, we're really just adding a single x on both sides. That's what we're doing. You're going to get a problem very much like this on your test. If you can do this, you'll be set. On the left hand side, how much do we have, ladies and gentlemen? 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. Great. If we have 4x plus x, we get 5x. Perfect. Hey, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. Now, look what happened here. We got rid of our smallest variable. That made it so we have one variable on one side. That's what we want. We want to just isolate this one now. True? Yeah. How? Um, That's our constant term. Of course, yes, I'm going to get rid of that first. We're going to get 17 equals 5x. 17 equals 5x. Our last step is always to divide. You're exactly right. So if we have a coefficient out front, we get rid of that by division. We're going to divide both sides by what? Okay, so we divide by 5. And what we're going to write, the 5s do cancel out there. Those are gone. We get 17 over 5. We're not going to do anything with that. We're going to leave it as a fraction. You didn't do anything wrong if you got that. Okay, I want everyone to raise their hand. Everybody raise your hand. Everybody. Hands up. Hands up. Stick them up. Ready? How many people made it? Keep your hands up if you made it this far, okay? How many people made it to this step just right? Keep your hands up. Good. How about this step? Oh, good. That was a big step right there. If you got the negative x, that's really important to me. That's awesome. How about uh, this step? Okay, so if you missed this step, that adding x, that's important. Watch that next time you go through this. How about to this step? And all the way down. Fantastic. Very good. Most people, if they make a mistake on this, they mess it up here or here. Those two steps. Those are big fours. Ah, uh, yeah. The last one. Let's see about this last one. Problem is real similar to this, this second problem. Uh, are you, have you guys finished that yet? No. Okay, take another 30 seconds or so. See if you can wrap that up, okay? If you have, see if you can check your answers. If it's a fraction, well, oh, well.
So remember, we want to distribute first, then we're combining like terms, just like we've been practicing in the previous section, we're just doing that. Then we get rid of the smaller variable if there are two variables, then the constant term, and then finally we divide. So in our problem right here, when we're trying to distribute, first thing I'm looking at, I'm going to leave this 2w alone, but I'm going to distribute not only 7, but with that minus sign, we're distributing negative 7. So when we do, we'll get 2w for sure. We'll have the minus 21w, and then we'll have, is that plus 7 or minus 7? Minus, minus 7. Minus. Good, you guys are really catching on to that. So distribution done on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we're distributing 5. We need to be getting 25 and then minus 15w. That's right. So far, so good? Yeah. Cool. After that, we're looking to combine like terms. Now, while I don't have any over here, I do have some like terms here. When I combine those, how much do I get? Oh my. Now, what do you do if both your variables, like we have here, are negative or have minus signs in front of them? You still want to take the smaller variable. That will make sure your variable is positive and you don't have to divide by negative because that's kind of annoying. We don't want to make that mistake. So can you tell me, out of the negative 19w and the minus 15w, which one is technically smaller? The, the negative 19. Think about the number line. The negative 19 is further to the left. That means it's a smaller number. So are we going to get rid of the minus 15 or the minus 19? It's a 19. And we're going to do that by addition. You know, that's a good question. Um, Andrea said, well, you still get the same answer if you do it the other way. For instance, if you add the 15 as opposed to adding the 19, the answer is yes, you will. What I'm, we talked about this last class. I said, your sign will be different. You just have to divide by the negative at the end. Uh, that's the only difference. I'm trying to save you from having to divide by negatives because oftentimes, especially when you get like negative y equals a number, that's where people make a foul up. So I'm giving you these steps because this tends to be the best way for people to go and get the right answer every time. Do you guys get me? So is it possible to do it the other way? Yeah, absolutely. It's possible. Is this way maybe a little bit more concise sometimes? Yeah, it's going to save you some steps occasionally. So here we'll add 19. 19s are gone here. We just get our negative 7. On the right-hand side, we have our 25. And then we have negative 15w and positive 19w. That's giving me what now? Good. Signs are different. Subtract, sign the bigger number. Plus 4w. Notice how we have a positive there. If you had done the other way, you would now have a negative 4w on this side. Maybe you did that. Maybe you got negative 4w over here. That just means you have to divide by a negative 4 at the end and not mess that sign up. You with me on that? Okay. What do we get rid of now? 25. We'll subtract our 25. On the left hand side we get negative 32. Right hand side we get 4w. And our last step to get rid of a coefficient is always to divide. We're going to divide both sides by 4. Done. You will get the same thing if you had done a different step right here. You should have gotten the same thing. If not, you messed your sign up somewhere. How do we feel pretty good about these examples? This is as bad as I can make it, man. If you guys can do this, you guys are pretty pretty good. And I see that most of you can, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about you guys right now. That's awesome. Now, for the last little bit in this section, we start off with some basic translating. We're going to translate some sentences into equations. This is going to lead us into 3.4 where we do some pretty heavy-duty translating. So let's get started on that. Now we've gone ahead and we've already done some translating of expressions, which just meant we can translate, we just didn't have any equal signs in there. So the only extra thing we're doing in this little piece is we have to learn some words that mean equals. 
they're on page uh, 182 for you, so go ahead and look at page 182 when you get, get home or something. Uh, but for right now, there's a, a few of them that you need to know. The few words that mean equals. For the few words that mean equals here, I'm going to give them to you. First one we sometimes see, if we hear the words or see the words amounts to. If we see or hear the words amounts to. So something amounts to something. That means equals. We can also have represents. Represents means equals in a math sentence. Totals means equals. And lastly, the one that, that really I use a lot and what we see a lot of, the word is. Is means equals or, or was for past tense. So is or was. Those two are used a lot to mean equals. Let's start with some basic ones really just to get the hang of this, and then we'll move on to some actual things with variables in them. So we'll just do three for right now. Let's say the difference of 110 and 80 is 30. We're not going to have any variables right now. I just want to get the hang of writing these, these sentences out. Remember before we did expressions, what we did was we underlined the special words that mean math. We're going to do the same thing here. So what's one word up here that means math? Difference. 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 Also, the key one that we want to start off with is the word that means equals. Can you find the word that means equals up here? Yes. Let me tell you something about the word is, or the word equals, or whatever word up here means equals. Did you know that in a word problem, whatever comes before the word that means equals is on the left-hand side of your equation. Whatever comes after the word that means equals is on the right-hand side. Did you know that it separates that for you? So really, all we need to do is identify that word that means equals. In this case, it's is. Whatever's on the right-hand side, that's going to be on the right-hand side of our equation. So if we have an equals, 30 is the only thing on the right-hand side. Now, you already identified the difference. What's the difference mean? So we're going to look at this, the phrase before the word is. We're just going to try to write this as a math expression. That's going to be on the left-hand side of our equation. So the word is or the equals separates our equation. Whatever's after the is goes on the right. Whatever's before the is goes on the left, and we try to make an expression out of that. Fortunately, we've already done stuff like that. So what's the difference of 110 and 80? Which one comes first, 110 or 80? 110. 110. Good. And we're subtracting 80. Let's verify that. Is 110 minus 80 equal to 30? Yes. yes. That's our true statement there. So right now we're not dealing with variables, but this gives us kind of a, a nice foothold to, to go on. 